Okay, so since you're working on some stuff in concert A flat, B, RB flat this week, um, I wanted to show you a couple of things just to watch out for that often come up in that key sign um, and that we have some special fixes for for clarinet. So if you have to play from F above the staff or on top of the staff, this F here to a B flat, which we normally play as two fingers and then your side key, um, another way to do that on clarinet is what I call one and one and I think is pretty universally called one and one, which is where you keep your first finger down in your right hand, you pick up this, this finger and then this middle finger and you're going to keep down your first finger and then I have my register key and my thumb closed in the back. Okay, this is what we call one and one. Um, and that allows for you to play from F to B flat really cleanly. Um, if especially if you have to go fast, it can be kind of awkward to do this. Now I will say this side B flat or this side B flat, however you normally play B flat, either one is fine. Those are generally better in tune and the tone that that note produces is also generally much better than the one in one. So we really just want to be using one in one for technical passages or arpeggios or anytime you might have that note um, combination and you have to be playing really quickly. Um, for whole notes and longer, use a regular fingering. So just so you can hear, that's going to sound like this. Okay, so the other problem, and I'm glad my clarinet did this, um, is that some clarinets, when they're not perfectly adjusted, will bark like mine just did. Isn't that a really funny sound? Um, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust my bridge keys right here. I usually need to move it a little bit closer to myself, so I'm going to twist my, my bridge key. Just a tiny bit. I just did a tiny little smidge. You might not even be able to see the difference, but I promise it moved. So let's see if that worked and now my B flat will speak for you. Okay, so that's a lot better and you can hear that there's a lot more clarity to that note combination. Now I will say I have encountered some clarinets, especially if you're playing on an intermediate clarinet, which is totally fine. Um, some clarinets, just that combination never seems to work. I have had a couple of students where their clarinets are just really, really grouchy about that finger combination. So if that's you, um, it's okay. Your clarinet is probably still perfectly fine. Just um, you're going to have to do a little more work. That's okay. Your fingers will be even more efficient for that. Okay. The other thing that sometimes we encounter in B flat um, major is going from E flat to C um, and you want to do that with C all the way over here in your left pinky so you want to use this alternate option um, because for E flat there's just the one way to do it um, this works and so does one in one without the register key on as well just this happens to be more common in in B flat because we're going E flat to C so just so you can hear that So you can hear, you can train your pinkies to move really, uh, really cleanly throughout that as well. Okay, so those are just some suggestions for B flat. Um, if you have other questions, always feel free to send us an email at levelup at virtualclarinetacademy.com um, and we'll give you um, whatever help we can. All right, thanks.